the Indian Air Force chief was on a goodwill visit to Russia, and during an interview to the official newspaper of the Russian military, the Indian Air Force chief has said, that the Russian fifth-generation fighter jet is not being considered by the Indian Air Force, and India might be ready to take a decision, only when the Su-57 is put into service with the Russian Air Force. He also gave his impressions about the MiG-35 fighter jet, and said that the MiG-35 had undergone major upgrades, and also referred to it as being a completely new aircraft. The Indian Air Force had rejected the MiG-35 in 2011, after evaluating it in the previous MMRCA tender. Russia's MiG Corporation seems to have fixed many issues with the previous version of MiG-35, but top experts have said that Russia has the cheapest twin-engine fighter jet in the competition, but it is also the weakest one in the competition, if compared to other twin-engine fighter jets participating in the competition. The Indian Air Force has a long inventory of spares, as it has procured aircraft from both Russian and European manufacturers. Several bids have been invited from the manufacturers for spares, which will go into the maintenance of MiG-21, Mirage 2000 and Su-30 fighter jets, apart from IL-76 transporters and Mi-17 helicopters. Several tenders have been floated recently for spares like pilot parachutes and harness for Su-30 fighter jets, and one of the reasons for slow upgrade of AN-32 fleet has been the procurement of spares, which was hampered because of the strained relations between Russia and Ukraine. The Defense Ministry has said that the nuclear-capable Rafil fighter jet will provide a strategic deterrence to the Indian Air Force and the requisite capability to engage targets at long ranges. The training of the first batch of officers and technicians is underway with the French Air Force, while the first Rafil fighter jet will be delivered in September this year. The upgrade program of Mirage 2000 is also being carried out, which includes a new powerful upgraded radar, new avionics suite, and integration of newer and smarter air-to-air -air and air-to-ground systems, and the upgrade would keep the aircraft operationally relevant for future combat operations. The Indian Navy has placed a 1,589 crore rupees order with the Indian Space Research Organization for a new dedicated military satellite, for communications between its ships submarines aircraft and shore-based units, and the launch of the military satellite is expected within a year. Officials have said that the newly sanctioned Tri-Services Defense Space Agency will also get several new equipments for communication as well as surveillance. Spearheading India's outreach to the Middle East in defense cooperation, the Indian Military Academy will now train the soldiers of United Arab Emirates. As part of the program, a 20-member contingent from United Arab Emirates have already reached the Indian Military Academy to undergo a seven-week-long training, including various drills and disciplines of the armed forces. In a step forward towards deploying women officers on board naval ships, the recently issued tender for cadet training ships has facilities that are also catered for women officers. This is the first tender to be issued with design inputs incorporated for separate facilities for women officers, and such design changes will be part of all future ships to be procured by the Indian Navy. Thank you.